James from Ospa here with Great Oak 4x800 team. Um, they got second for the 4x800 Invitational. Um, congratulations. Uh, I'm here with Michael Barrett, Cole Yeager, Ryan Shield, and Chris Fredigo. Hey Chris, uh, how did the race go for you? It went pretty well. Um, at the start, I could tell that none of us were focusing on time and just trying to win. Because at first, I was pretty slow, but then Mason, he started picking up with a three, then I started going with him, and then he just had a stronger in the last hundred than I did. Uh, what were some of your goals going to the race? I, well, we were hoping for a win, but um, that's pretty much it. But Is there any like strategies or plan um, like, for your, like individually? Like, um, individually, no. I just want to win as a team. Okay. How about for you, Ryan? <coughs> Sorry, I was rushing. Uh, how did the race go for you, and what were some of uh, your goals and uh, plans going to the race? The uh, uh, race went well. Uh, I was just trying to stay on there because last night came down with a little bit of food poisoning. Okay. So I was just trying to, I was nervous about that, so I was just coming in trying to keep me going, but it went well. I was able to hold on to what I wanted. The team, again, we just wanted to win it. Uh, gave it our all, that's all we could have done. Yeah. We're happy with it still. So. We're going to come back in 4x16. Mm -hmm. Hopefully do good on that. Alright, sounds good. How are you, Cole? The race went really well for me. Uh, opened it up. It was great to see Micah get the lead even though he you know, went from, yeah, from sure. last to first basically. Mm -hmm. But it was, <laughs> it was great to see him get that in the last hundred and then uh, got the baton. Just tried to, uh, tried to move in as best as I can. Um, the, the guy who ended up getting third place made a fantastic move and was able to stick it for the whole race, so I just stuck with him and uh, wanted to get my teammates in the best position as possible. Nice. Going into the race, I was super blessed to be out here with these guys. It's a special team to be with. I knew these guys were all fast and capable to run 158 and better. You know, it's crazy to be with these guys. But going into the race, my plan was to um, get first and maybe just a bigger lead to start us out good. But I was glad I got us out in first to get my team going, and we, we fought fought through to the end. So I'm super blessed to be with these guys. It's nice. awesome. Uh, Michael, you have a very like uh, unique like uh, race like plan and strategy going to the race. Like um, in the first lap, you uh, settle in the back and you can um, conserve. And the last 300, you go like everything you um, you have. Uh, what what makes you run that type of style in that way? Well, um, knowing me, I know I have a kick. Uh, I ran. I usually run the 400 and 800. That's those are my two races. So um, <laughs> usually at the end of those races, I like to kick it up to the front. So just resting that first lap and taking it nice and slow, and then last 300, kicking it, kicking it up all the way to the first place. I love that race race style because um, it makes me feel good until that last 300 where I'm fighting for it to the end. So. Yeah, amazing kick, man. Thank you. Appreciate right. it. Uh, what are some things that you learned from your race today? Um, one thing I learned is probably not to be close to the last, um, going into that second lap, um, I should probably start out, uh, a little bit more up ahead in the race, and, um, the more that I try that out, I hope I master the ability a little bit more, so, um, that would be my next step, is starting, uh, a little bit further, uh, going into my second lap. Okay. How about for you, what are some things you learned from your race today? Uh, I learned that, um, should probably just, uh, Maybe get out a little bit, a little bit faster, and um, yeah, keep working hard so I can get my speed consistent all the way through, and hopefully uh, run, keep running fantastic times, and uh, yeah, hopefully set some records someday. How about for you, Ryan? What are some things you learn? I just learned not to get to get in my own head. I'm just this is my heart. I'm out there and running for myself and for my guys. How about for you, Chris? Um, just run my own race, knowing that I have a kicker sitting right behind me. Don't let him be ahead of me into the last 200. And I let him get ahead of me, and he out kicked me the last 100. So. Okay. Uh, Chris, talk to me about your uh, like your tradition wearing your, your white hat. Like almost every race, I see you wearing your white hat during races and like even practices around yeah. tempo. What, what's um, up with that? I don't even know, I don't even remember how it started, but I have longer hair on the top, so it always go in my face. And okay. Then I started wearing a hat, and wherever they let me, I just, I just came my face. Interesting. Okay. Well, congratulations. Thank you for your time. Really appreciate it.